My name is Tenzin Shimi. I am the senior faculty in the CTEC GSP Shimla and you are watching an online tutorial on HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the introduction of an HTML. We are going to explore the elements, the tags and attributes. What are all those things? And through pragmatically, we are going to code the HTML and see how it looks like and how we can uh, generate a web page from an HTML. It's been rightly said so. If you don't know where you come from, you don't know where you're going. We do know where we are heading towards. We are heading towards the world of web technology. And we do know the history of an HTML. That is, Tim Berners-Lee at the test in the CERN uh, scientific organization, they required a technology uh, for their research purpose, research paper purpose, that is hypertext, right? We are going to explore on this. He then created the first web browser, server, and the web page. He wrote the first specification of the HTTP, HTML, and URL. In October 1994, Tim Berners-Lee has founded the organization called W3C, World Wide Web Consortium, that enables the specifications of a language. To give an introduction of an HTML briefly, Hypertext Markup Language is the main markup language for creating a web page and information that can be displayed on the web browser. To break this down to you, let me give you an example here. As you can see, there is a URL. That's the URL of a Google. And that's a website. And website is nothing but a collection of web pages, right? And the very interesting thing about it is that that text is a hypertext. That's the technology. And when I click this, boom, there is a fire up of a web page. And that web page is a Google web page, right? And that is fundamentally documented by the HTML, hypertext markup language. Though the, uh, the appearance and the control are also used by other languages, but fundamentally, HTML is the core of the documentation of this web page. And as you can see, there is the URL. And this HTML page has been uh, shown on the platform called uh, web browser that has been used, we have been using the Google Chrome in this case. So get, uh, getting back where we are, we are, now let's discuss the elements aspect of an HTML. Elements are nothing but the ingredients that makes an HTML. And they follow a model. That model name is called DOM, Document Object Model. And this model looks like a tree, a reverse order tree, where there's a root, and that root is HTML. And that HTML is an element in itself. And from that element, root element, there is a child element that called a head element. This is a non-visible element in the web page. They do play a very key important role, but they are invisible. Giving a web page a title has to be through the head elements. And there is a body element from the HTML. Through body element, we have h1 element and that is for the heading of element and then there is a p that is a paragraph of an element and that elements consist within the body ml and body elements are nothing but the visible element that we able to see the document that has to be shown is to be considered inside the element of body and this is the dom model how it looks like the core is the html the root and then from HTML, there is a hat, through hat, there is a title, and they are differentiated from the HTML hat and body based on visibility and invisibility. So, next tag, quite an important one. Tags are nothing but that differentiate between the content and between the elements. Elements and contains are differentiated by one key thing that is tag. The angle bracket are nothing but a tag. Here, I have given an example. The emphatic word is basically a contain that has been 
that has to show in your web page and em is the element that enables emphatic look and semantic look to the uh, this contain through the element we have been using this angle bracket this angle bracket enables you to understand this is a tag for the machine okay so here is the opening and here is the closing tag closing tag has been done by the forward slash all right so moving on let's discuss the attributes attributes are used in the tag to further define the tag and as you can see here in example i have used the example of image element image element enables you to put the image on the web page and for that only image and tag won't do the justice it requires further definition of a tag and that has been done by the two attribute, uh, attributes, those are SRC and ALT. SRC is the source from where location you want to put, uh, you want to put the image. And that has been done by the SRC attributes property. And that property contains a value. And that value is the URL, the address of an image. And ALT is the property again. And that property enables you to give the name of an image that in case if the image won't load it the text will load as a floating flower in this case so this is how the html word looks like now moving to the code it's worth noting that there's a two aspect of writing the code where will be we are going to write we are going to we can write in the text editor Text editor like Notepad, Notepad Plus, Plus, Vim, Visual Studio Core, and many more. There are tons and tons of uh, text editor we can use. And here we are going to use Visual Studio Code. Quite an interesting one, right? And we can, in fact, use integrated development environments also, IDE, like Visual Studio, Net, uh, NetBeans, and many more. But we are focused on Visual Studio Code. And if I just hyper text again, here in the Visual Studio Code, uh, you can see there is a download link that you can uh, download the Visual Studio Code, right? It's free and it's open source and it's integrated with the Git. There's a version control and there is the enability uh, of uh, debugging and also there's an ex tons of extensions. And there's, it is very important that to note that it's a platform independent, no matter which uh platform you are using mac linux window you can enable to use this and download and get started now we are going to uh, demonstrate our core and html so for that we need a platform here we are going to use a text editor where we will be coding our first html and i'm using visual studio code right uh, as you can see i have already made and a folder in a desktop uh, drive uh, a folder called an html and now what i do is if i click this button it will say new file and this file is within the uh, folder called html so i will name the file name index dot html dot html is the extension for the file to be recognized as HTML. All right. Now uh, let me start by writing uh, angle bracket and say exclamation mark doc type doc type HTML angle bracket close and I say HTML. Here you go. And as you can see we do discuss the element called html but we doesn't discuss we didn't discuss the doc type html isn't it now doc type html exclamation doc type html is nothing but it says that within the uh, the code the all the codes are written in the html5 specification by the w3c specification it says html5 this is the a line specifying that the version that we are going to write the HTML is an HTML5. 
we started with the HTML, the root element, and as you can see, there is opening and closing tag. Within that, we will be uh, exploring the element called hat. This is non-visible element, and within that non-visible element, what I'm going to do is I will write a title. Now, title, uh, we can set anything. Title, we let's say uh, home page, home page. Now, this is our main title. Okay. I'm getting outside of the hat, right? And then I mentioned body. Now, as you can see, within the body, we can specify like uh, H1, that's the heading one, and we say hello world. And if I mention H2, for instance, you can write H6 till the 6, you can write H6, uh, H2 will be small in size compared to H1. The heading of one. Hello world, my name is Tamsin, right? All right. And uh, then what? Uh, we discussed paragraph, right? Paragraph element. We can see that there is the opening and closing tag of paragraph uh, elements that we are going uh, right now has been discussing. Now, as you can see, if I say like paragraph. All right, control save. We have saved the file. This is all it's all about. We can run from here, but uh, what I'm going to show is from, look here. We have made a folder called HTML. Within our system, it's already made, as you can see, is a Chrome HTML. The file itself becomes a web page. And when you click, double click on this, oh, uh, obviously, our uh, uh, browser file up and the web page shows here hello world that is h1 my name is Tenzin Mr. h2 and the h uh, headings has the property of being bigger in size not in bigger size they are also bold in uh in shape and the paragraph as you can see the title has been shown up here home page as you can see local and share file and this is how a web page uh, has been built uh, the web page documentation has been built through the collections of tag and tags are nothing consist of elements and data those are nothing but the content and this is how you write the code and this is what you get out of the code as an output